Hi, Stratman here from metatrader.pipware.com. Just going to give you an example how I might look at setting support and resistance levels. So, uh, what we might do is start with uh, just a simple horizontal line, look for a point where basically I look at my price action and I look for on the weekly time frame first for long term support and resistance. I'm looking for a place where price comes down or up, is rejected off a line. And then finally breaks through and comes back and retests that line. So let's have a look at that. We've got price action coming down, hits this line, bounces off, then finally breaks through the line and comes back and bounces off on the opposite side. This is a classic case of support, which is here, turning into resistance, which is here. So uh, there's our line of, of support and resistance. This is what we call long term support and resistance. It's, this is on the weekly chart, so each bar is one week. Um, and as you can see, support and resistance back here, and it's, it's become um, resistance all the way along here uh, over, the, over the past few weeks. So we're going to put that line in. Um, while we're at the weekly time frame, any little movement or adjustment in this is quite a large number of pips out here on the side. So we're really, you know, support and resistance is really a band, and um, we're just looking for the best kind of, best kind of fit at the moment, and and that kind of fits the picture right now. When we get down to the daily time frame, which we're going to do in a sec, we might adjust this slightly for where we are right now. Um, we have another line that we'll add in about here. Um, again, long long-term support and resistance again we've got uh, resistance here broken through here turning into support support and we've got another few candles here what are we looking for how many touches well hopefully we've got more than about three touches and we're seeing seeing it come down uh, one way and then being rejected the other way so there's two points um, as we can see over the last few weeks uh, currency has been range bound um, Let's see if we can find another point uh, that we can add in. Maybe another point about there. We look again. We're looking for a point where uh, price bounces backwards and forwards between one side and another. Now we can see here support, slight push through here. That doesn't matter. We're not looking for exact lines. We're looking for how many times price touched this line and was rejected off it. Whether it went through slightly doesn't matter. So support, 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 resistance here. Just a bit, not really doing anything there. Resistance, 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 finally comes through support again. So that's another support and resistance line. We might consider that uh, there, there's, there's possibly some trend line support here. Let's have a look at that. Um, at this point here, we had support, support, support all the way up here. Uh, then finally broken through, came back and acting as resistance here. So uh, that's a valid support and resistance trend line there. Uh, we may be able to consider this one here being something similar. Um, and you know, we're looking for places where where we might be able to draw it back and and see see similar things happening. So even here we can see over a longer term this could potentially be a support and resistance trend line. Um, we've got a lot of resistance here, resistance finally breaking through, coming down, support, resistance, resistance, resistance. So potentially this could be the way this continues up and, and have a struggle getting through there. Now that um, we've drawn a few lines there to get an idea, let's go down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame we may want to make some small adjustments like on, on this one here. We, um, we want to get the best best amount of best number of touches on our line. So we go down further Uh, oh, we've got to turn off our auto updating there. 
so we'll just adjust this one you know she is pretty close to touching there and here carry on back through let's have a look so we've got support all the way through here uh, so support through here resistance through here we get out through here support and support turning into resistance we've had a had a try at breaking through this support but it rejected off it finally broke through bounced off uh, and it became resistance so and now we're looking at uh, resistance all the way through here we may have an opportunity to draw another horizontal line once we're down into the uh, one hour uh, so the, the the daily um, we've got a a clear point here we are uh, more recently over the last well, few weeks we've got support resistance resistance so this is, this is a clear line of support and resistance to me we might have another one um, somewhere in here it's looking like a good opportunity as well so I would I would draw this um, Clearly, a lot of lot of uh, hitting against that point there. Support, resistance there. Uh, resistance, support, resistance, resistance, support, 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 and two more supports. So we'll take that as a as a valid a valid point. Um, we'll go down to the four hourly. We find we've got. Um, uh, we might need to do some small adjustments um, but they're looking pretty good all good support there um, clearly support all the way through there and then resistance here underneath um, might want to just move that up slightly just a small range um, and then we could maybe another trend line opportunity to put in here um, I would probably add this trend line it's quite clear to me that um, price there was a resistance, resistance finally broke through. This is support, came down, supported as it was trying to break through. Finally broke through, um, and it's hit it as as resistance again, and then finally broke through, and we've got the the support there again. If we carry on down the time frames, I'm probably not interested in putting in any more lines down further than the H4. But if we get to the M15, which is the time frame that I trade. Um, we clearly see we've got some nice open areas but as soon as we start getting anywhere near our support and resistance we want to be doing something about it um, just watching ourselves so let's go back out to the daily now and have a look at the big picture and as you can see we've we've added our lines um, sometimes it may help to zoom out a little and uh, it gives you a better idea of, of what's going on and we can clearly see all our support and resistance lines that we've drawn they're, they're all, all fairly valid get down to the four hour zoomed out as well we can see they all look they're all looking fairly valid um, so that's how i do it folks um, so this is stratman here from metatrader.pipware.com